Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So right now I'm going to be using the uh, Kat Von D. You can't see the number, it's D31. I'm going to be using that on my eyelids to kind of prime my eyes and set it for the eyeshadow. Oh, sorry, welcome back to our channel. I forgot what I was going to say, guys. I'm so sorry. But yeah, welcome back to our channel and stay tuned for this look. So once that's done, we're going to go ahead and we're going to blend it out with a beauty blender. <clears throat> Yes, blend that out, blend it out, blend it out. So after that, we're going to set up with the Laura Mercier setting powder. And we're going to use um, a Real Technique setting brush. Sorry if you guys can hear noise in the background. There's some construction going outside and my mom's on the phone and she talks loud. Yeah, so just checking that. Next, we're going to go in with the Morphe 35B. We're going to use the pink shade that's at the top. I'm going to use um, the crown brushes. I don't know which number. And we're going to kind of put that above the crease. And a little bit into it. And we're just going to blend it out using windshield motions. But yeah, guys, I don't know. This look wasn't 100% what I was going for, but I ended up liking it anyways. So it was supposed to be a Valentine's Day look. But as soon as I started recording, I'm like, uh, I did not know what to do. So I kind of just like... So I forget it. Next, we're going to go in with Modern Renaissance. We're going to use um, Love Letter, I think it is. Going to put that into the crease. Kind of use that to, as our transition shade to blend in with the lighter pink that we put from the Morphe palette. <clears throat> I feel like I should have just did a talk through rather than... A voiceover because I suck at voiceovers they're always so bad and I feel so awkward doing them but I mean wait you gotta do what you gotta do then we're using a Morphe brush I don't know which one so I'll put it in the description box and we're gonna use that to blend the two colors together so they look seamlessly and not choppy I kept showing brushes but I literally did not know that you couldn't see them so I apologize then we're going to keep blending and blending and blending. Blending is key. Blend, blend, blend. Next, we're going to go in with this peachy shade from the Morphe palette. We're going to use that to also blend those two colors together because I felt like the color wasn't showing enough. So I wanted to make it darker. Next, we're going to go in with the Morphe uh, brush and the NYX eyeshadow base so we're gonna cut the crease why well, I said cut the crease no yeah no that's right <laughs> we're gonna cut the crease cut that line get that sharp nice edge look guys doing that on camera is so hard like I, I hate holding a mirror and trying to cut my crease at the same time it's the worst thing Oh my gosh, the construction in the background is annoying. Next, we're going to go in with... It's a Sephora brush. I don't know which number, but it's very small. I think it's an eyeshadow brush. Just going to use that to all over the lid. So that the, when we put on the eyeshadow, it's very, very vibrant and it's out there. Mm hmm look at that sharpness next we're gonna go in with the pinkier shade we're gonna use the bottom pink one first and then we're gonna use the like purplier one at the end of um, the lid I don't know why I showed them together I should have just did one and then showed the other oops my bad y'all so you don't get confused Putting that really nice pink. Guys, look at that. Look at that pigment. Looks amazing. I'm telling you, a dark skinned woman, we can wear whatever colors you want. 
and it just pops on us. I just recently started learning that. Not recently, but probably like a few months ago, ever since I started working in a makeup store. And I ended up switching brushes for the end because the flat brush was pissing me off so much. So I switched to like another Morphe brush. It's kind of rounded. It's like a bullet crease brush. Just gonna use that for this purpley color. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna go back in with the pink and kind of help it blend together. <clears throat> Next, I'm gonna, what I'm doing is I'm using that same purpley color with the same brush to kind of darken the top of the lid because I felt like the color wasn't strong enough and I wanted it deeper. And we're gonna use a Morphe something something. Gonna go in with a super dark purple and gonna put that straight just in the crease only. And I'm gonna blend it out a little towards my inner corner. And we're going to blend that out using the crown brushes, blending brush. Next, we're going to use the Glam Aqua Pink Liner from NYX to kind of, I, I don't even remember what it's called that I'm doing. I'm so sorry, guys. But basically, we're going to use that liner in my crease. And guys i i'm terrible at doing liner in my crease like it was so bad i kept looking at it and i was like oh my gosh i just want to stop recording but obviously i didn't so then now we're gonna do the face and we're gonna use the Too faced born this way concealer in deep tan gonna put that there i don't put any concealer on my forehead i don't know why i feel like every time i do that it always comes out so patchy on my forehead so i just don't bother and we're gonna blend it out using a beauty blender you've got to blend 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 blended up into my temples because I always put too much on I feel and I have nowhere to put it so I just put it up in my temple so I don't have a harsh line also gonna blend that near my nose area Guys, it's my first tutorial, like, so I apologize. I don't do these this often, so that's why it's a hot mess. But as I keep doing these, I'll get so much better. So just ride with me until I get to that level. And ride with us as our channel grows. Next, we're going to go with the Sasha Buttercup. Going to use that to set the under eye. Guys, this powder is the best for baking for dark skin. It looks so amazing and you don't get flashback and you don't look like an ashy ghost. When you like I use Lurie Mercier sometimes, but Sasha Buttercup takes the cake. Like it's the holy grail. I'm also blending that onto my nose too because my nose is very, very oily. So I kind of use this to help it set a little, a little more. And then we're going to go in with some lashes. And while... Okay, well, guys, I messed this up. So while my lashes... I'm waiting for my lashes to uh, dry. I'm going to bronze my forehead using the Anastasia stick in Earth. And it's just to darken it and give myself a little... I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. I'm sorry. And we're going to finish putting on the eyelash. I'm going to put the which one it is in the description bar. Then we're going to blend that out using the Real Techniques setting brush. 
And we're also going to blend it out using my fa the brush that I used to apply the foundation, which I applied off camera because I recorded a tutorial yesterday. And guys, the video was 53 minutes long and I cut it down and even it only went down to 38 minutes. And I'm just like, no, this is too long. So I just did like my foundation and my eyebrows off camera because no, we don't we don't need a full like law hour long video on how to do some eyeshadow. Then I'm going to use the two colors that I used on my lid for my lower lash line. Is that your lower lash line? I don't know. I don't remember what it's called. Whatever. Just going to blend that up a little bit. Then we're going to get the Anastasia Glow Kit. We're going to use like this random Sonia Kashuk brush. And we're gonna use tourmaline in the inner corner. And we're gonna also use that for underneath the eyebrow. And we're using another brush for underneath the eyebrow. It's a Morphe brush once again. So I will write that in the description box. Then we're going to use bronze from the same glow kit for the rest of my highlight. As you can see, I abused my highlight and I abused the like the Anastasia glow kit so badly. Like look how messy it was, guys. It was so bad. Put that on my nose, on my chin, and on my forehead. Mm-hmm. Yes, look at that. Glow, honey. Then we're going to use Buxom's uh, Samantha and this random pencil I got from Shoppers Drug Mart. Which is a, it's an eye pencil, but I use it as a lip pencil. And we're going to do my lips. I feel like I don't really like wearing lipstick with such bright eyeshadow because I feel like I want all the attention to be on the eyes. I don't really want people looking at my lips. I don't know. I'm a weirdo. So I kind of just usually wear a lot of clear lip gloss and I just line my lips to make them look nice and plump. Yes, hunty. And there you have it. Look at that. Looks nice, guys. Uh, I just have the look I was going for, but I still like it, so that's why I'm putting the video up. But, um, yeah, so stay tuned for more. Bye, guys. See ya.